The Triangle is one of the fastest growing areas of the country. The North Carolina Department of Transportation is focused on projects to stay ahead of that rapid growth by increasing mobility, enhancing economic opportunities, and better connecting our communities. An important part of that effort is our project to complete 540. The process to complete the outer loop, 540, is moving forward after a two-year delay. A state law passed in 2011 limited NCDOT's ability to comply with a federal requirement of studying certain areas of the project. Newly passed legislation cleared the way for the study to resume. We'll be collecting information for each alternative, such as the, the number of homes and businesses that may be impacted, uh, as well as potential wetland impacts, uh, potential impacts to historic resources. In addition, we'll be doing pre um, preliminary design studies and traffic studies on each of the alternatives. And with this information, we'll be able to compare the alternatives under investigation and ultimately determine the uh, route that we propose to build. As part of the 10-year Triangle Mobility Plan that includes a rebuild project to fortify I-40 and 440 Raleigh's inner loop, Completing 540 connects the final section of the outer loop from Holly Springs to Nightdale. The Complete 540 project will provide a more direct route and quicker access to RTP and the RDU Airport for rapidly growing communities south and east of Raleigh, including Garner. Since the uh, last census, I think we grew like 17,000. Growth is good in Garner, and there's more to be uh, gained by growth than with the addition of the uh, 540 completion. It will spur growth and new, new properties, new territory will open up for growth. So Garner will benefit from the completion of 540. NCDOT is resuming the study of 17 possible alternatives to connect the loop. Crews will collect information about the benefits and possible impacts of all of the alternatives, including four new routes and parts of two that were previously removed from consideration. Over the last two years, we have taken a fresh look at some of the alternatives that were reviewed in the past. And we discovered that by slightly revising some of their alignments, that some of the alternatives showed advantages and that they should be carried forward for additional study. The next step is for NCDOT to host a series of public meetings in the study area to present information and maps of the alternatives. Public feedback gathered before 2011 will also be included in this process. For more information about the project or about those public meetings that begin in October, log on to ncdot.gov.